Hello friends, it is Monday, January 22nd. Um, so we're a few weeks into the new year. Happy new year. And I was coming on here to do a check-in. How are your new year's intentions going? Are they shifting? Do you have any? And um, I just had some thoughts that I wanted to share about new year's intentions. Um, I think a lot of us for new year's, we focus on our career which is natural. Careers are a big part of our lives. Um, and so if your New Year's intention is to get a bigger and better job, or even if you're a business owner to grow bigger, um, but you just really don't know what your next move is, or you think you're definitely just going to go ahead and shift, like maybe the company you're at just isn't where you can see yourself growing. Um, I have an idea of something that I've actually done myself and it's not the all or nothing like, okay, I don't like this company. I'm just going to go ahead and leave and just, oh, sorry, I'm itchy, and just find another company. That's totally fine, but sometimes that takes time. Um, and like for the few months interim, in lieu of just, you know, wallowing in pain and staying somewhere you don't want to stay at. How about you do an interim step and become fun employed? So um, what that means is just taking a job that's more fun and just finding something that's of your interest and just playing with it and knowing it's like just a fun little interim step. Um, so for example, today I was with a friend and we were walking by this cute little boutique clothing shop. She loves clothes. And so she pointed out the beautiful dresses and so for her, if she wanted to be fun employed, she can find a boutique shop to work at. Um, for me, I enjoy gardening. So if I were to be fun employed, maybe I can work at some type of house plant shop or store. Um, I'm not sure I'm trying to think of other fun employed things you can do. Um, if you, hmm, I can't think of anything else right now because my dog is barking in the background, but if you catch the drift, really check in with yourself. What are things that you enjoy? What are things that bring you light? If you enjoy animals, maybe you want to work at a pet shop. Maybe you just want to work at like um, PetSmart for a little bit. Whatever little fun employed job. Just to be around that energy, to kind of have a little bit of space. Um, and let's be honest, when you are, if you decide to go this route, if you are fun employed, your income is probably going to be cut huge amount, maybe even by 50%. So during that time, the interim time, just know you're going to have to really cut back and that's okay. You can do a give and take in life. So are there any, go through your budget. Are there any subscriptions that you can cut out? Um, maybe just let your friends know that you are going to be during it, that this is a time right now where you're really tightening up on your budget. You're trying to reassess your life. Um, and so for now, if you do fun things, just let them know, let's do something free or low priced or you know just more nature walks or something like that so um trying to keep it short because i know people like short videos so but i have a lot more to say about this but i'm just going to stop there so i'm just planting the seed in your head that just think about about it when you're playing with your new year's resolutions and your growth it doesn't have to be so black and white this is just an example the fun employed example of an interim step that you could take to ultimately get to that bigger step because if you do want to get to a bigger job you know that seems more of a right fit it's easier to find something when you're in alignment and your headspace is in the right place um, rather than like going from one frantic thing to the next. All right, everybody. So that is all I have for today. I hope you're well. From my heart to yours, sending you L-O-V-E with an exclamation mark. Ciao.